I am in the middle of a my minor garage update. I am, let's see, repainting the garage, installing new lights, reorganizing everything, moving a garage door so I can install a car lift. And then in the middle of all that, I thought, hey, might as well, might as well buy and install some new garage cabinets. Uh, that, that's actually not what happened. What happened is I found some metal garage cabinets on sale uh, from Home Depot, so I ordered them. And then three, three small, three small pallets of cabinets uh, showed up at my house. And so today we're definitely not done with the garage renovation. As you can see, uh, it's, it's just chaos in here, chaos all over the place. But we are going to take a look at these cabinets. We're going to assemble these cabinets and we're gonna see if spending uh, way too much money on cabinets is worthwhile or not. So let's take a look at what I bought. Let's put them together and then let's find out if I wasted my money. First things first, when I ordered these cabinets, I could either have them shipped to my house for free or I could pick them up at the Home Depot at the store for free. And I thought, hey, I don't have to worry about being home. I'm just gonna have them shipped to the store and I'll pick them up myself. That was a horrible idea because when I got to Home Depot, a fork forklift came out and I had three tiny pallets that were all shrink wrapped together and they were, they were packed really, really well. Here's my little leftover pallets and uh, there's like an inch of cardboard around each one and they're all nested together and they're all shrunk wrapped and they're actually screwed and bolted together and the forklift actually ran into one of the boxes and the cabinet was still just fine because these things were packed so well uh also they're they're, they're taller than i am and you know having them on a trailer behind my car in rush hour traffic was a little intimidating but they made it home i got everything unpacked Somehow I got them um, loaded out of the trailer by myself. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Once I got everything in here, the first thing I did was start assembling and installing the taller upright cabinets. And when I say assemble, I mean all I had to do was put four feet on the cabinet since they're one piece, they're welded together. And it's actually super convenient. I was really surprised by this. But the feet, you screw them in from the bottom, but then you have these little Allen headed adjustments in all four corners. So all I have to do to make sure these are nice and flush and level with each other is put a little magnet level on each one and then take my socket and adjust those little corners until everything is nice and smooth and flush. And I've got super tight tolerances, all my doors open. That has been super easy. So next is to assemble my lower cabinets and then hang and install my upper cabinets. And then we have a workbench that goes over all of this, which which I read the instructions and we're gonna have to get creative with the workbench because I'm not I'm not quite going to install them as as recommended by the manufacturer. So lower cabinets, upper cabinets, and then let's get creative and then let's check out uh, the whole thing assembled and what I like about it and maybe what I don't like about it. Seems like the lower cabinets go together just as easy as the big tall upright cabinets. Every cabinet, the lowers, the uppers, and the uprights comes with two sets of keys. So I now have uh, three times two times three. I have a number of sets of keys to make sure to lose. But inside each cabinet you find surprises. The surprise inside of the lower cabinet is a shelf. So let's just take our shelf out. Inside the big upper cabinets, we had big boxes of parts. We've got some nice, some nice tray liners that we might use. We have a mounting bracket for the upper cabinets and a, a like clothes rod hanger. So I guess if you're using these in your closet, that's interesting. We have a nice set of parts, all nice and organized. And it even comes with a Allen key that goes into a drill because I guess they know that if you're installing big garage cabinets, you're probably using a drill and not one of those little, you know, one of these guys. And then right now we're using our legs. So just like the uppers, we had four legs. Our lowers, we have four legs. Unfortunately, these ones you have to adjust from the bottom. So just like the other two lower cabinets, I will screw these on. I will line them up on the wall. I will put my level on and then adjust my feet until everything's nice and level. Have the dogs been fed? The dogs have not been fed. Ooh, Murphy. I've been neglecting them for garage things. Wanna try this? What is this? 
It's... Is this booze? No. What do you think of uh, what we're doing here? It looks really good. Yeah? I'm very impressed. Fresh paint, fresh yeah. cabinets, minor hole in the wall. Yeah. Oh, smash a fly. So here's the tricky thing that I haven't told them about yet, and I'm oh. going to tell you, is these cabinets are installed, or they're made, I'll bring you over this way. Okay. There's supposed to be a workbench that covers all these up, mm -hmm. but the workbench actually mounts in between two of these vertical ones. Oh yeah. So uh, it actually hooks in right here. And so you're supposed to have like two cabinets and then a workbench and one cabinet. And I don't want to do that yeah. for one. I don't want like a random workbench over here. And then my actual doing stuff workbench over there. Yeah. The plan is to put like the drill press and the bench grinder and the tools I'm always hauling down off the shelf, like on this workbench to use. Um, so I kind of want like a caddy corner two workbench setup situation. Yeah. And then two, I, I don't want to move these light switches Good. Yeah. because they're right in the way. Yeah. So I'm going to somehow have to finagle and jerry rig that workbench. I'm thinking I can like weld up something out of steel and I might have just enough space, like build a leg for this side of the workbench over here. I mean, I'm pretty good at welding. I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. No problem. Um, so I'm going to try and put the upper cabinets on. Cool. And I didn't realize the garage door opener is going to be right in the way. So that might go live on the other side of the door. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. So good. And like open one, they're actually pretty hefty. Like, wow, Ooh, right? So much control. Yeah. Hey, are these the same hinges as what we have in the nook? They are, they are nice soft closed hinges, which are nicer than the hinges on our cabinets in our house that we've been switching out. Hey, yeah. did you do, or did they come with Yeah, them? they came like that. Ah. And they've got like pegboard installed so I can like hang power tools and stuff in there. Nice. And they have cutouts in the back yeah. for power strips so I can keep my battery chargers in there. So um, I'm giving away too many secrets. I'm going to install the uppers. We're going to figure out how to make the workbench work. And then we're going to get into uh, review land and show you all around these new cabinets. And also I'm thinking I'm going to put a light underneath these upper cabinets. Yeah. Got a row of uppers that go right here. So. The same ones that the same one as those or? Oh, uh, it's so bright. Yeah, I've got, um, this is all, Murphy. these are all lights right here for that. Anyways, we're getting distracted. You're distracting us. I've got work to do. Sorry. Murphy. Take the sad dog with you because she didn't get any treats. Yeah, she's going to get some beef jerky and we go inside. Come on, Murph, Murph. She gets beef jerky. That's, what? That's too nice. Back to work. Our lower and our upper cabinets are in. So I had to get a little creative because these go on some rails that were actually really nice and convenient to use because they have levels built in. So I really didn't have to do much leveling uh, and they actually, they look, they look pretty straight. But the studs in the wall weren't exactly where I needed them and I don't have a lot of space to play around with over here. So I put some wood boards on the wall, put the boards into the studs uh, with some lag bolts and then put my rails on top of those boards. So I think, I think it's gonna be fine. They're pretty sturdy and really there's not gonna be a ton of heavy stuff going in there. And then down here, I put another board to screw the bottom of these cabinets into and I let it overhang a little bit because I'm gonna put pegboard down here and I need something to attach my pegboard to. On the workbench front, uh, I don't think I have enough clearance to build a little leg here and this workbench isn't wide enough. So I'm probably gonna figure out a way to just attach that workbench directly to the top of those cabinets. And then I think, I think these are in. Uh, once I attach the workbench top, and then once I go back through and kind of re-level and make sure everything is nice and square, it's time to fill it up with tools and then accessorize. I have a couple ideas in mind, a couple packages on the way for uh, toolbox wall accessorization. So a little more work, and then, uh, and then we're finally gonna take a look at the finished product.
update time. It's the night before this video comes out, so I'm frantically trying to finish getting this whole toolbox cabinet situation assembled. And apparently here in North Texas, we are on the precipice. That's actually a good word. I love that word. We are on the precipice of like the storm of a century. So a uh, horrible time to be reorganizing and renovating my garage because I had to cram everything back in my garage so it doesn't get destroyed by like the hail and 100 mile an hour winds we're supposed to have. Um, except for my girlfriend's car. It, uh, it, 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 <laughs> sacrifices must be made. Anyways, holes in drywall have been patched. Pegboard has been hung up. I might have mildly dropped the pegboard, but it's fine, it's fine. I hung a light up here and it's, it's actually too bright. It just blinds you in the eyes because it's right at eye level. So I might order a different light, but we're gonna accessorize and then we're going to uh, put the shelves and things in the toolbox and then we're, get, we're gonna go hide in the closet and edit this video and post it for you tomorrow. So a little bit more work and I will see you momentarily. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just installing the last shelf in my last cabinet because after three days, uh, maybe four days, I don't know, after many late nights, my, my cabinets, my toolboxes, my, my new garage organization, organization, is finally installed. So let's, let's take a look and it's time to uh, show you those, those surprises I mentioned. So, so nice, they're magnets. Yeah, bitch! Magnets, oh! Here we have it in all of its glory, $1,600 of Home Depot's finest cabinets. And that was on sale. I bought these things 50% off. So I would say my initial impressions after assembling and everything, getting everything installed for what I paid for 1600 bucks, including tax, this is, I mean, this is the deal of a century. I was a little worried the metal might be kind of thin and flimsy, but it's, it's not, it's beefy. It's got soft close hinges. This tabletop, this worktop table, I had the option to get a stainless steel one, which I figured was just like stainless steel wrapped around particle board. So I did the solid wood and it's, it's, I don't know, it's not, uh, it's not bad. I don't, I don't think it's gonna hold up like, like this boy right here. Oh, d did I mention, uh, the, the, the rest of the garage is gonna be a, a different video. Don't, don't look at that. Anyways, I'm super impressed. They went together really easy. All the bolt holes lined up, adjusting, leveling, everything was actually really easy. Even just little things I didn't expect, like, I don't know if you can see this, but all the little cabinet holders, all the little shelf holders, everything is metal and steel. There's no little plastic bits and bobs that for, for what I paid in the world of toolboxes, I expected, uh, I expected things not to line up. I expected little plastic clips, but no, things were welded together and actually, actually high quality. So I would, I would definitely do it again. And, and now on to, on to those surprises. Surprise number one is that I added uh, this pegboard back here. Uh, not, not a huge surprise. I didn't want just a blank wall. I wanted a pegboard. But surprise number two is I wanted a tool organizer rack to hold all of my various drills and things. And I just ordered this one on Amazon. Not the fanciest thing in the world. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little flimsy if I'm, if I'm honest. I might build something out of plywood later. There's lots of tutorials and DIYs online. People build things out of plywood or PVC, but uh, it, it, does hold, it does hold the big boy and it holds, it holds all the little boys. It does not hold the right angle drill, so I did have to get a separate uh, separate holder for that. But yeah, all of all of my drills and uh, and flashlights, flashlight not a drill. A unexpected surprise was the number of keys that I received. Uh, each cabinet came with two keys, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cabinets, two keys, eighteen keys. Uh, and they they all have the exact same lock. So I have 18 of the exact same keys. So if you have a Husky Home Depot number 10 toolbox lock and you need anywhere between one and 17 keys, let me know because I have a few extras. Other surprise I would say is the number of spare parts that I have. Uh, th this entire box here is spare parts and like little things like nuts and bolts, but also big things like 
metal brackets that I didn't use. That that's not that's not concerning. Another surprise. Uh, there's a coat rack inside each of these upper cabinets. I I don't know why you would you would want a coat rack. I don't know how you could hang a coat because these shelves are in the way. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the tiny coat rack. I think those might be going in the trash, uh, AKA spare parts box. But uh, the last and most important surprise, and by surprise, I just mean genius idea or thought that I had way to really utilize these new cabinets or toolboxes is uh, magnets. Yeah, bitch! And, and here's what I mean by magnets. So all my other toolboxes, I, I was smart and I was crafty and I was organized and I labeled them all very nicely. But over time, I reorganized and moved things around. And well now, uh, the, the tape drawer has clamps in it. Uh, the, the driver bits drawer has, has miscellaneous crap in it. And the miscellaneous crap drawer has mi mis miscellaneous crap. So uh, rather than have to print up labels, I bought some uh, magnetic dry erase labels. I have all sorts of different colors. They're all the same size. And with a simple dry erase marker, this can now be the miscellaneous crap drawer. And this can be the miscellaneous important tools drawer. But then if I get too much crap in this drawer, guess what? This is the miscellaneous crap drawer. So I think this is really gonna help keep things organized, especially as I'm redoing the garage and things are, things are gonna move around a lot. And when I was in my magnet uh, purchasing spree, I also, I also bought this. Let me take it out of the package and I'll show you what it is. Here, this out. It's another magnet. And it, it doesn't, doesn't quite fit or I thought it would fit. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to cut this down or find a different place for it. But uh, in my last garage, I had a whiteboard where I'd write down important things like what oil which cars took or how much oil different cars took or when the last time I changed the oil in a car was. Uh, mostly I would just write down um, oil and oil filters. It, it, was, it was a whiteboard for keeping track of oil changes basically because I, I can never remember what went in what car. So now I can list all the various decrepit cars in my decrepit fleet, what kind of oil they take, uh, what kind of filter they take, what the oil change interval is, and have all that information nice and handy, and, and I just a convenient place to put a whiteboard in my garage for taking notes and listing out parts and things that doesn't take up a lot of space because, well, it's on the side of my toolbox. And actually, now that I say that, I think it's going to go... Uh... Look at that. It fits perfectly over here. So that is it. Those are my Husky toolboxes. Uh, I, th I think I got a great deal on them. Um, if they were much more expensive, I'd probably go with something else, probably build my own cabinets, build my own shelves. I'll probably maybe have some different opinions once I finish the garage and start filling them up with tools and boxes of tools and once I get everything organized. Uh, speaking of the garage project, if you want to see how it turns out, uh, please, please subscribe and follow along. Because if you look, if you look at it from like this angle, I mean, things are going good. It's nice. It's well lit. It's painted. It's clean. Um, the more we, the more we pan around, there, it's uh, chaos, chaos everywhere. I've got the car lift is going to go in here. I've already raised the garage door. I've already started repainting and rewiring some of this over here. Uh, so next is just move everything back out. It's all in here because we just had a big storm, but move everything back out, get rid of more stuff. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff and just reorganize, finish the painting, finish the lighting, and then, uh, and then maybe finish some projects once the garage is finished. Yeah, may maybe I should be working on my projects and not the garage. Till next time, uh, may may maybe go finish your projects. Bye. Look at this. I had enough keys to spell zero to awesome in keys. That's only if you use the number two and not the T-O. To spell it zero to awesome, I would need to order at least three more toolboxes.